Oh, point, point, yeah. Hello and welcome to Fender Play Live. I'm your host, Jen Tranny. If you're tuning in for the first time, Fender Play is an online guitar learning platform and Fender Play Live is a weekly live show where we discuss everything guitar related, right? Techniques, gear, you name it. Picks, we'll talk about picks, we'll talk about straps, whatever you want to talk about, we'll talk about it. I'm lonely, this is all I do for fun. It's okay. <laughs> Today we're talking about finding your perfect sound. We're going to be joined by our special guest, Gothic Tropic, so stick around. If you have any questions, drop them in the comment section. But first, let's talk some gear. Oh yeah. Your favorite. Here to help us with a brand new Fender LT25 amp is my first guest, John Dreyer. Yeah. 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 Johnny Good Tone Dreyer. I miss you guys so much. I'm so happy to be back. We miss you. I miss you. I don't daily. know where I went, but yeah. <laughs> so John, let's hear this amp. In yeah. Action, so please. so you're plugged into this one. I'm plugged oh, into yeah, this one yeah. over here. But uh, let's hear first, and then we, we can talk about it a little bit. So I'm just using preset number two on this amp. <laughs> Let's give it up. Let's give it up. He's been working on that for about 20 years. Good job. Good job. All right. So, so you want to talk? You want to go into the amp, or do you want to? How do you well, want to? Well, yeah. I mean, finding your tone right. can be difficult. Finding yes. the sound that you like can mm -hmm. be difficult. There's so many choices out there for yep. strings, guitars, amps, right? So how do we do it? How does the LT25 make it easier? So everyone's familiar, I think, with the Mustang GT, right? So this amp is new. It's a little bit more uh, uh, laid out, uh, simple. It's a little bit smaller, uh, easy to manipulate the tones and all that. But as far as finding the perfect sound, I think there's a lot of options out there now. As you all know, there's pedals and there's different pickups and different uh, cables and your pedals and, and amps and distortion channels, clean channels. So there's a lot of things. So whatever that tone might be, you know, whether it's a rock sound or a clean sound or just all out, just crazy effects, right? So depending on what you're looking for, you have a, a, a shopping list to, to mm -hmm. figure out what you want. So you can go and try to pull all these different variables in and, and come out of a store with a handful of pedals like I do every week. Yes, I know. And, <laughs> and, uh, and you know, and kind of piece all those, those all together. But you know, with an amp like the LT25, you can plug in, you can sit down, plug it in, turn it on, and right away the tones are there. You can just not even go into you know to changing or editing. You can go and scroll through all the presets, mm -hmm. and you have all those things there. So those tones, you know, you can start there before you start exploring other options. You can start with all those tones. You can easily edit and make your own tones, and those different tones might you know. Um, might uh, uh, allow you to maybe, or, or want to write a song. So different sounds might, you know, encourage you to write different songs, or you might find your way to different genres that you may not have, you know, explored before. So it's it's just, you know, I think a good starting point for anybody wondering where to start as far as what do I need, when do I need it, how do I need to get it, that kind of thing. Well, how would yeah. you go about finding like your personal sound with this? Because you said you can customize yeah. it. So if I'm kind of just playing some open position chords. Right. So. So with this amp, really, really, so you have a nice clean, Fender clean sound. So just by turning the knob, right? So now you're a rock star. I, that, that's all it took? And you're, so, and you're soloing, right? I feel like a rock star now. And then when you get tired of being a rock star. I am tired of Now you're a blues master. Oh. Right, so different. Different levels of clean. We have a nice little bit of reverb featured on this one. Mm -hmm. We can go into tremolo. Oh, my favorite. So lots my of very favorite. much, you know, kind of that, that classic vintage Fender sound you might think of. Oh. Just by turning a knob. Just by turning a knob. Yeah. Make it easy for people like me. Oh my Dreamy, goodness. right? Oh my real, goodness. real ambient kind of things. So it's all there. And yeah, you know, we were talking earlier about just finding the tone and, and knowing knowing where to go to get it. But I mean, I have a great story. My first amp when I was younger, a lot younger, uh, was this little 20 watt amp. And you know, I wanted distortion channels. So I, I wanted distortion tone. I was into my, you know, my inspirations, Eddie Van Halen and, and Jimmy Page and Jimi Hendrix and Jeff Beck and all that great stuff. And I wanted like those distorted tones that, that mm -hmm. I was hearing on the records. But my amp, I didn't know how to set my amp. I just would turn my amp on. It wasn't digital. It didn't have effects built in. 
but I would turn it on. And I'm like, okay, that's just clean and I can crank it up. It's loud, but you know, it's kind of cool. Mm -hmm. And then one day I, you know, pulled it out of, the, out of the closet, turned it on and then had distortion. I didn't realize there was a preamp and a power amp. So if you drive the preamp side all the way, that distorts the front end, then you can you know, use your master volume. So I was like, oh, I get it. So not even, you know, so even like when you're looking for tone, I, I learned something. So now you're learning about how amps work, right? I learned mm -hmm. how an amp works, preamp, power amp. Oh, I get it. Drive the preamp and then control the master volume. So I was finding tones and learning about, you know, the operations of, of amps and all yeah. that kind of stuff too. So I think when yeah. I first started learning, mm -hmm. um, we had the same amp. The, oh yeah. We're gonna say okay. what we have. Okay. Yeah, okay. yeah. And I was petrified to mess with any of the parameters, so everything was on zero. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just like this sounds awful. And I think it was a friend of mine that was just like, "Could you just maybe turn up the treble right. and the bass?" And I was like, "Oh, okay." <laughs> so I think the thing is, is don't be afraid to experiment. Yeah. I think a lot of people, yeah. especially beginners, are intimidated by the knobs and the buttons and. Just find a yeah. quiet place where you're not going to disturb anybody, where you can crank up the sound and and mess with the buttons yeah. and really experiment with what you like. Yeah, and, and you I really. Think, go ahead. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. You really can't break anything, right? So you can make, you know, you might think, oh, what's the order? If you have pedals, what's the order of pedals? And even you know, in an amp like the Mustang, you can control you know different uh, combinations and the order of stuff. But you know, there's nothing. There's no wrong way. There's you know, there might be like the suggested order of pedals or effects mm -hmm. whatever but it's it's all like Jen said it's all about experimenting and yeah. that's the way like I stumbled on finding out how to create distortion you know you're going to stumble on to other things and then also be you know hopefully um, inspired to write a song or play different things but you know yeah um, there was a question before we get any further there was a question on how uh Oh, how long does it take for the LT25 to boot up so when you turn it on? And like the Mustang, there's a little bit of a delay. I think it's around, it's like three or four seconds. So you turn it on and there's a three or four second kind of uh, buffer for it to start up and then you're good to go. So not, not very long. Okay. So yeah. Fender Play has five pathways to choose from. We've got blues, rock, country, folk, and pop. Mm. And we have the new site redesign so you're able to create personalized lesson experiences. So let's put this amp to the test and see how we can jump between styles. So if you do come on to Fender Play, mm -hmm. which we hope you do if you're oh, yeah. not on already, then you can see, oh, I can use this one amp for several different styles and get sure. authentic tones. Yeah. So we start with, what are we doing? Well, let's start Here. with number one. This is Fender Clean. Fender so. Clean. Back to my open position chord. Oh, yes, yes, it's magic. So a good place to start, right, when you're learning songs, it's a good place to start because you can hear all the notes. Before you put all that grease and distortion on there, it's a good place to start with a clean sound so you can kind of find your way in the chords and then get up. But from there, so let's say, what are you feeling? I'm feeling. Wait, wait, take a trip to. Let's take a trip. Blues Town. Let's to take a trip country to town. What do you blues. want to do? Let's take a trip to Blues Town. Here's going. Blues Town, here's, everybody. This is blues. So then you, you know you can go into the amp. Uh, I know you can't see this, but you can click on this one button and it shows you the whole makeup of the preset. And you see all your your effects and you can go and manip manipulate really easy and save them. So next, let's go to. Uh, I don't, I'm just gonna roll the thing and see what happens. Oh my goodness, I'm scared. Uh, we have Tortured Telly. Tortured Telly? What's going on there? Oh, we were gonna do that. Right. I feel like Tortured sounds Telly great. is the name of my That, sounds, <laughs> that sounds great. Uh, how about something a little... I wanna hear that, I wanna hear some metal. Come some on. Some metal, oh, I Enough have. Enough of this clean I have nonsense. just the preset just get for the you. Dirt. This one, Reese. this one is it's called, going. wait, this one is called. What's it called? Why does it keep jumping? Hold on. You better find that sound. This one. I'm needing metal. Getting angry. Let's see. Getting aggro. I don't know. How about, <laughs> where, where did try you that go? One. That's not metal. Okay. 60s fuzz. There we go. Super rock. Oh, there's what there's this. Effects like that. Um, oh, here we go. Thrash overkill. Metal. That's all I wanted from you, John. That's all I wanted. That's all, right. all I wanted. All 
right, we got some questions. Are there options for amps for acoustic? Uh, yes, uh, we make uh, several acoustic amps. The acoustic SFX. There's the I love uh, that yeah, amp. in which we use the acoustic amps on our on play on yep. the set. Yeah, yep. there's a couple different versions of, as wattage, and there's one that has the SFX that has that surround kind of sound thing. Yeah, really cool. Uh, can you use the same foot switch for the GT100? Uh, don't believe so. This is a the GT100, the, uh, no, actually it's, the, the GT is a four button foot switch, so there's not as many parameters and options on this one. It's a little bit more simplified, so that foot switch, I believe, is a, would not. You do have the elaborate. option yeah. for a foot switch back here behind the input. Yeah, I think there's like a two button or a foot switch we can, you can add to the amp. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Anything else you want to say about this? You know, again, it's just a, it's a great portable amp. You have USB, so you can also take the output of the amp and record. So it's also a great little recording piece. Um, and it's loud, it sounds great, classic tones. You have an auxiliary in so you can jam along with tunes and have fun Good practicing. Stuff. Yeah, it's a All lot right. of cool stuff. So check out Fender.com for more details on the LT25. Thank you, Johnny D, for stopping oh. by. <laughs> Next we have a very special guest, Gothic Tropic, who's going to be talking to us about how she finds her perfect sound. But first, let's check out a quick video of her talking about what guitar means to her. Right. I don't think having technical skill necessarily means that you're a great guitarist. You need that soul in it. For me, guitar is an extension of, of myself and what is going on in my mind. Creating your own voice is finding your own style. That, to me, is my purpose with guitar, is the journey. You have something specific to offer on guitar that nobody else has. Gothic Tropic, um, you're a guitar player, I'm you're a guitar songwriter, player. right? Yes. I, do I have it right so far? Yes. Guitar player and songwriter who released her full, first full-length album in 2017 and also plays guitar for Beck. So uh, quite cool indeed. Do you feel cool? Like, do you have a tattoo that says, have you gotten it? I would get a tattoo no. like across my neck that says, I play for Beck. When do you ever feel cool? Is that like allowed? I don't know. I mean, so that's pretty, you have to admit. Could you have imagined when you started playing, you'd be no, playing for Beck? No, no, absolutely not. No, this was just, this was purely a writing tool for me. It was mm. like more portable than piano. And then um, I just sort of ended up, you know, needing to, to write and it ended up being the perfect voice, you know, translator for me. So that's awesome. That's, that's how I slipped into it. That's awesome. So let's talk about this perfect writing instrument for you. Yeah. What do you? What? This is your guitar. This is my guitar. Yes. And tell us about it. So this is the. This is from the American Professional um, Camp. You know, uh, uh, collection. Mm -hmm. And um, we're jazz master sisters today. That's right. Notice that. Mm -hmm. um, and that's a jazz master song. Just so you know. <laughs> yeah. I just wrote it for us. It's really cute. <laughs> So like, actually in Beck we auditioned a few different guitars and this one kind of won. So um, I had the American Professional Strat, which is awesome that like, uh, what is it, Antique uh, Olive, it's called. Ooh. It's that nice green color. That mm, that's lovely. And, um, but this olive. is just such a nice, like, buttery baby. And, um, <laughs> So you're saying that you you played guitar because it felt like a better writing tool. How long have you been playing? Like when did you first come to it? I was actually a late bloomer. Um, I was like singing in a punk band in high school, and then um, I started just yeah needing to 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 write um, on guitar, and that means I learned by ear. Okay. And, um, I'm just a by ear kind of player, um, and. Uh, 
What were you listening to when you were learning by ear? Yeah, like your that was like inspiration influences. I mean, I think my favorite guitarists are or more of the frenetic players mm -hmm. like Jimi Hendrix and uh, Richard Richard Lloyd and even Tom Verlaine. I love mm -hmm. Tom Verlaine's like weirdness. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then uh, and then you yeah, Prince, obviously Prince. Mm -hmm. And the more contemporary players, I mean, now at this point, I'm I'm in love with Ruben Nielsen, Annie Clark. Yeah. I, I love the top liners. D say more about that. Or, and can you kind of demo, like, what I don't top know. liners are for you? So, I mean, I guess it's the noodlers or the solars. It's, it's, the, it's, it's not like the... It's not like the chordal stuff. You mean everything that I've done today? Yeah. yeah you're <laughs> everything that is my no, essence? That is... That no, no. Actually, I actually really admire that because I never, I never went down that rabbit hole. I just sort of, you know... I, I was more about like communicating the top line melody, mm. so more the m melodic top line information. I like those players. I really admire the 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 jazzy, you know, super, you know, schooled people, the mm -hmm. technical people. Um, we have that now on record. I Let's really do. <laughs> I really do. I just wish I I'm just not that guy. But yeah, yeah. I, I you know I can at this point. But um, yeah, so like. Yeah, I think those are my favorite kind of players who are just m more feeling based, more um, expressive and uh, emotional. Emotional, emo, as it's known. Yeah. <laughs> so talk a little bit about your sound because what I like about your sound, uh, you have this finger picking style. Oh yeah. Because you don't use a pick at all. I really, uh, yeah. I used to. I mean, if I'm recording, if if it's the kind of thing where it's we're really meticulously thinking about the tone here. If I'm recording, I'll, I'll use different kinds of picks. Mm -hmm. um, but what is it about the fing the using your fingers and having your nails a little bit longer that you like from that tone? Um, something about not having a pick, it, the pick kind of feels cumbersome for me now if I want to like switch between my fingers because sometimes I'll, sometimes I'll pick all three or four, you know, if I'm, if I'm in a chord somewhere in the middle of a solo, I don't have to worry about dropping my pick mm. and like playing all these other notes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think that's why I started just finger picking. And also in the beginning, um, my mom let me use her nylon string classical guitar to just noodle around. And so she she taught me, I don't know, Blackbird obviously is like the first thing you learn on that nylon string. Yeah. <laughs> so then that's it's the finger only thing you learn. Yeah. It's like Bach and Blackbird. Yeah. <laughs> So, so finger picking, I just started out that way, and usually the, the people who have like short nails on one hand and long nails on the other are old men with, you know, ponytails. Maybe they're balding right here, but they all have, they're balding right here, but they have the ponytails and they have like the flamenco nails. And I think they're the only young I know exactly person. who you're talking about. Got this. That's and every time I'm like at the cash register or something, I'm just like, yeah, don't worry about it. It's weird. And then when I get my nails done at the nail salon, I'm just like, shh, shh. <laughs> so everybody, everybody stay yeah. quiet. All right, so let's talk a little more about your specific tone. OK. You know, you know I've already talked to you about how much I love your album. Thank um, you. I think everybody should check it out. So we're going to talk about some of those tones from your 2017 album. Yes, OK. Fast or Feast. Faster feast. Okay. Yeah. So um, let's go to your amp over here. Let's get those tones. Number 32 from Don't Give Me Up. Yep. Yeah. And walk me through like what you like about that tone. Like what what is it? It's just it's got that like <laughs> sort of arena active act active rock like uh, fuzz and and the reverb on this I was able to like crank the reverb and you can see it digitally on the on the like on the screen here yeah and then yeah when I got it to somewhere I wanted I just press save twice that's a nice that's, <laughs> yeah, it's easy um, that's this, what we need we need just turn boop, boop, it's save. so that's easy it. that's it that's so it. this one's called spoonful spoonful of rock I say because this is just <laughs> Shred, if you got like a Every little one needs a spoonful of rock. Yeah. So you have that little, you know, nice delay on it, um, mm -hmm. a decay, sorry. 
And then, yeah. So then your soul. This is one of my favorite tones. I love this song too. So, so this hear. song, this was like all about uh, chorus, like pre, pre punk, like Cure style. That's how and I it's, the and it's bright and shimmery, and you get yeah, yeah. that like sort of like blue hazy vibe, and and then um, yeah, what else? There's, there's there's one more, one more, and yeah, if uh, thirty four. Oh yeah, thirty four. That's thirty four. Fat, fuzzy sound. Totally. And I mean, think meaner streets, that's called. Meaner streets. Yeah. It sounds like a mean street. Sounds like a mean street. Very mean street. So I think the thing is, is like listening to a lot of different players, a lot of different sounds, or even different instrumentation, yeah. right? Because you can get a cool, like, you can hear a cool synth sound and see if you can emulate that with your pedals or with your amp. And totally. Don't be afraid to experiment. Yes. You know, and crank the knobs one way, crank them the other way. You can't go to wrong. see what happens. Yeah. And when I started, I just like, you know, I I did a whole like rabbit hole down like buying pedals that just is is it's expensive and I didn't know really what I was looking for at the time and and then you get all these like when you're starting out you you get recommendations from your friends as if it's the bible, but it's <laughs> it's not it's it's just their, you know, personal opinion. And the coolest thing about this amp actually I would like one. Can you give me one? Yeah. Um, it it's it's got like all these everyone in the room wants one. Yeah, it's like they're like high-end boutique presets that have been designed by like real, you know, sonic heads, audiophiles yeah. who like really care about real and have good taste. That's that's the biggest problem. Some of these amps don't have good taste, you know, yeah. and that's the whole problem. And this you get like all these like sounds inspired by the bands that we're all listening totally. actually listening to. So let's play just you a little bit. You can save yourself a lot of. You can save yourself a lot of grief, like, and money, really. Yeah, and really give yourself time to experiment with the sound. You know, don't just rush through a patch if you don't like it. Play live, we assign homework to the audience. So, for beginners, show us your favorite skill or song that you've learned so far. So, what would what would that be to you when you were a beginner? What was some of the? the oh, things? the coolest thing I was like, oh, pick offs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You just you know a pick off is just you just you just let your your this your left hand do it, or if you're righty or you lefty you. Let, Fret hand. So yeah, you know, fret the fret hand. That's what that's called. <laughs> I, don't, I, I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> uh, so intermediate. Create and play a riff that uses your favorite tone. Oh, cool. So give us Maybe one, this of, one of those tones. <laughs> yeah. Oh. And then uh, blow our mind. Show us an original song or riff that you think showcases your perfect sound. Oh my god. Uh... the special part of the show, we've got the giveaway. So each week we give away a free piece of gear to a Fender Play subscriber just for watching a lesson. That's what... What's the catch? What's, there is no catch. You just have to want to play guitar <laughs> that and is awesome. do it. <laughs> okay. So you're going to announce the winner. Drum roll, please. This week's winner Everyone. is... Della C. Della. 
Congrats, Delacy. You're going to win some cool stuff, and uh, I, I want to win cool stuff. Yeah. I mean, being here with you, I feel like I'm winning. Cool I'm stuff. winning right now. Boom. Virgo energy. <laughs> Virgo energy. Yeah. We, we found out that we have the same birthday. Same birthday. So, Virgos, all those Virgos out there, we're with you. You we're Italian you. too? I am. Oh, hey, hey. hey. <laughs> All right. Okay, so click the link in the description for more info on how you can be the next winner. And remember, the more videos you watch, the more chances that you can win. So we have a couple of questions. You ready for some questions? Mm -hmm. Do you take the amp into consideration for the, for your sound, or do you rely on outboard pedals? Uh, uh, that what's, or is the, is the amp less important? It is, is not less important. It is not less it important. It is pretty important. It is very important. Um, yeah. Oh my gosh, my first amp, I actually, I bought it at a at the Rose Bowl, like, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. flea market, and it was a Jay Terser, little baby Jay Terser tweed amp with like a wooden panel that looks like an old timey radio, like, eh, mm -hmm. I got a neck or so, <laughs> so then you had this like, and that sound was like this like, it sounded like a Dan Electro, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So so it sounded like super old timey, and I actually used it on the EP, mm. and uh, I still have it. Yeah. And then, um, and and that sounds like a whole other world. But then then you could use you know like Princeton or Reverb or whatever it is, and you can really like get specific with your sound. I think it's very important. Yeah, totally. I think getting the the amp just feels like the foundation and the pedals It's where you're are pushing like the, the air. Yes, exactly. So it's pedals are the icing on the cake where you can okay, I want to make sure that this is a little exactly. bit crisper, or a little more shimmery, but you got to have a good solid amp or ooh. I think the yeah. amp is actually more important because it, when, yeah. it, when when left to your own devices, it's just the guitar and the the speaker, you know. Yep. So. And if your pedals go out, which has happened. Happened to me. It's in, happened in to me. Diego. I went yep. no pedals. I just, no pedals. All right, we're have if a your amp and your guitar are not happening, yeah. you're finished. So exactly. make sure that the core of your instrumentation, uh, you know, the guitar and the amp. You don't want to lean on it too much. Exactly. Yeah. All right, so we're going to give some shout outs. You're going to give shout outs. I'm going to sit here and think about pedals while you give some shout outs. My first shout out <laughs> goes out to Nathan Mitchell's daughter who has only played for one month one and month. already is playing Knocking on Heaven's Door. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah! I still don't know how to play that song. Not either. Not either. I'm not playing it right now. Oh, that's really cute, though. <laughs> My second shout out is Rachel Buchanan. Uh, she used a looper pedal, which is, that's exactly how I started playing guitar. Used, that is the best thing you could do if you're really starting out, just start a looper pedal. So get a looper pedal. Get a looper pedal. <laughs> get a looper just like any looper That's all you need. Um, um, to solo over some 12 bar blues for last week's homework. So well done, Rachel. Yeah, Rachel. Yeah. Then we have some Fender Play updates. We got uh, new songs, What a Wonderful World by Sam Cooke and Red by Taylor Swift. So check those out. You know, I'm always down to play a little Tay Tay. A little Tay Tay Swifty. Play it. <laughs> play, oh, it. play it. Oh, OK. Play it. <laughs> This is your favorite part. Remember this part? That's that Nashville moment. Yeah, that's, that's a it. Nashville moment. And then here. Ooh. Thank you, Nashville. Thank you, Nashville. <laughs> All right, a huge thank you to Gothic Tropic for stopping by. Yeah. Woo! And John Good, Good Tone Dryer. Uh, tune in next week where we'll be talking about some, some acoustic techniques with some more special guests. So keep practicing, and we will see you next time. Big G chord to end. Oh, yeah. And here we go. Yeah.